Hello everyone, Nate from Grower's House here, and today we want to show up show off our newest test that we've just completed, the 300 to 400 watt alternative lighting test. Now for this test, um, we actually got a new piece of equipment that's called a spectral radiometer. So this is a $3,000 light meter that not only gives intensity, but it also gives the intensity of every color wavelength or the entire spectrum that a light gives off. So it's much better than a luminous meter and even better than a PAR meter at uh, telling you the whole story of what's going on with the spectrum and intensity of a, of a glow light or any light for that matter. And uh, you'll probably be familiar with these graphs even if you haven't heard of a spectral radiometer because on the side of HID bulbs like your HPS or your metal halide, you'll see a graph that has different colors on it. And that is actually the spectral radiometer reading that um, the company has done and they posted it on that box. So what we've done is gotten six different lights between 300 and 400 watts. Um, most of them are all what we would call alternative lighting. So this test comprises of LEDs um, and ceramic metal halides and as well for reference a 400 watt HPS. So the lights tested in this test were the Lumigro Pro 325 LED, the Black Dog 360U LED glow light, the Universal Series, the Faro LED 10 spot glow light from Spain, the Sun System LEC 315 ceramic metal halide glow light fixture, the um, Kind LED glow light, the K3 L600, and Again, for reference, the 400 watt HID setup with a Hortilux HPS and a quantum 400 watt ballast and a yield master 6 inch air cooled reflector from Sunlight Supply. So, um, really, in addition to taking the spectral radiometer readings, which give us that graph of each light spectrum, we also took a 4x4 four four glow footprint and put the lights over 24 inches above that footprint and made the footprint also have a 3x3 three three within it, a 2x2, two two, a 1x1, one one, and a center reading. And we measured at 33 points within that 4x4 four four so that you can get a really, a really good understanding of what the intensity is of the light over that 4x4 four four and the points within it. And we posted those for each individual light. Now I want to make a couple quick notes to everyone. You know, we hung everything at 24 inches, but some of these lights are really recommended for a smaller space, like a three foot by three foot space. But we just wanted to include out to a four by four because we know some people are doing that. Um, and we just wanted to see what the intensity would be like out there. And for example, like the Black Dog LED, they recommend hanging their lights at 18 inches and rather than 24 inches. So you actually might get a little bit of different readings if we move these all to eight inches, but we needed uh, the same height for all the lights to be able to compare apples to apples. Although in the future we might get uh, do a different style of testing where we get lights that are recommended for a certain size area such as a 3x3 and then test them as the manufacturer tells us to with different heights for different coverage. So along with that we also hooked up each light to a kilowatt meter so that we could read their wattage, amperage, voltage, and hertz. And this is coming out of the wall because it's often a little bit different than what companies uh, overtly state. So we also, with this information, made our own ratio, which we're just calling the PAR to watt ratio. So really what the PAR to watt ratio is, is the sum of what the PAR was given over that 4x4 four four footprint divided by how many watts these lights were pulling at the wall. So with that ratio you can see relatively how efficient a light can be but again that doesn't tell the whole story that's just there as another way to digest this information um, and um, going over some quick analysis of this information uh, it looks like you know these lights are really good for different things um, what we noticed was the black dog LED had not so much intensity in the center where we saw we have the graph that's the average of PAR for the one by one perimeter, but it had really high PAR for 
the outer edges. So what we noticed was that really just means that that light was a little bit more consistent than some of the other lights, such as you might see the Kind LED, which is a new LED to the market. And it was very intense um, over the center, performed very well for how much wattage it was putting out, uh, but didn't have quite the consistency of the coverage area. Um, and then you'll see the 400 watt HPS with the way its reflector is, it had a pretty good and consistent coverage area. And the ceramic metal halide light also performing pretty well with uh, often having the highest intensity with a fairly consistent coverage area. Um, uh, another note is, looks like we also took the uh, average of all the PAR over the 4x4 four four footprint, and that can just give you a basis of really how much intensity this light's giving out over that 4x4 four four area. Um, and other than that, you know, we really wanted to make this information available so that you can purchase the light best for your needs, because we realize if you're going in a 2x2 two two versus a 4x4, four four, you might purchase a different light um, via, you know, just digesting this information. So we think this can help make a better and informed purchasing decision for getting a new light for your setup. Also, there's much more that can be done with this information. We just put it in a few different ways that make it easy to interpolate what's going on, but we also included the raw data uh, in a spreadsheet below that you can download, and you can use this information any which way, post it online, make more graphs for other people that you think would be relevant, or maybe show uh, the, the story of uh, the graphs and the spectrum in a different way. And other than that, if there's anything else you guys would like to see us test, please write in the comments below or send us an email and give us a call. And uh, we can even include lights on this test as addendums. So other than that, this is Nate from Grower's House. Have a good one.